Hello everybody, I'm Father David, one of the chaplains at Ark Alexandra Academy and it's good to be able to join with you again today. We're thinking today about Easter and hope and joy and I'm speaking to you from a lovely beautiful setting which some of you might have seen before in the corner of what we call the Sacrament Chapel in St John's Church in Pevensey Road, St Leonard's on Sea. One of my favourite paintings is called The Resurrection at Cookham, painted in the early part of the 20th century by Stanley Spencer. I don't own a copy and I can't show it to you, but your art teacher might be pleased if you ask them about it. Or you could Google it, it's well worth a look and there are lots of images on it, of it um, available online. The painting shows the village churchyard in Cookham where Spencer grew up. But he doesn't paint it as he saw it. He paints it as he imagined it on the very last day of time. He shows angels clad in white with their big wings pulling bodies now very much alive out of their tombs in the churchyard. It's an amazing image. You might not like it. You might find it a bit gruesome, but for me, it's a hopeful image, an image of joy. It's a very serious statement about death not being the end of the story for any of us. Nowadays, where we are, with all the things that are going on, we've become more aware than for a long time, and I'm really old, and so I can remember a very long time ago. We are realising again that suffering and death are part, unfortunately, of the way the world is. It would be easy to get downtrodden, depressed, and certainly frightened. It would be easy to lose heart, to cry out, what's the point? At Easter, Christian people remember the death and resurrection of Jesus. He died in a horrible way, uh, which we can see represented behind me on this great big wooden crucifix. For those of you who don't know, again, it's something you can ask the relevant teachers about. I'm sure they'll tell you, but it was uh, the way that Romans killed people by nailing them to a cross. A truly horrible way to die. Before that, he was beaten, insulted, stripped, spat upon. He knew and experienced the kind of suffering that all too many people still do. You might like to pray for people like Nazanin Radcliffe in Iran, for refugees detained in unsatisfactory circumstances in our own land, for those caught in seemingly endless war in Syria or Yemen, or the Ouija Muslims in China, or the school students kidnapped and imprisoned in Nigeria. The awful list goes on and on. Or perhaps you could do even more than that. What Christians believe is that Jesus walked that walk, but that God raised him back to life three days after his death to show that not even the most awful suffering and death is the end of the story. In the end, in the end, however dark it seems, good will triumph, love will prevail, and there will be peace and life forever. May that message dwell in your hearts and the hearts of those you love this Easter and always. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you in... Oops. <laughs> Amen, is what I meant to say. <laughs> I told you I was old and the old brain sometimes goes AWOL. And for a vicar to forget Amen at the end of something shows how bad things can be. I blame a year's lockdown. God be with you. Be at peace. Be hopeful and love one another. Amen. I remembered that time.